Hi, and welcome back to X's and O's again with Dan Orlowski. I'm Mike O'Hara, and we're brought to you by Xfinity. And Dan Orlowski, after just a big win for the Detroit Lions over the LA Chargers, 13 to 10, tough game. Now they've got one of the best young quarterbacks in the league they're facing this week in Carson Wentz in a road game at Philadelphia. What makes Wentz so different from the quarterbacks the Lions have faced in the two weeks? Well, first you had Kyler Murray, right, who's, who's a runaround athlete type. And then you faced Philip Rivers, who's the pocket guy. Well, Carson Wentz is really a combination of both, Mike. He's, he's a big, strong, athletic, never-say-die quarterback that is very smart and can make all, right, all the right kinds of throws on a football field. Well, we're going to start with a big one. We're going to go back to the opener against the Washington Redskins and a throw to Deshaun Jackson. Now, this is a game that the Eagles won, but break it down. Give us the X's and O's. Tell us why they like to go with this. Well, the thing that they're doing with Deshaun Jackson right now a little bit different than the past is moving him around. And here he's in the slot, and what that does is it puts him as the number two receiver. And so they're trying to find matchups for him to utilize his speed. That's exactly what they do right here is they get him matched up on a nickel defender going deep, and they put that safety in a 2-1-1 -on -one bind in that quarter's defense that Washington plays. And you get one of the fastest and best deep ball receivers ever in the history of the NFL going downfield against a nickel who can't run with them. So this is a quarterback that loves to push the ball downfield and is a very good deep ball thrower. The question becomes for the Lions, where is Deshaun Jackson on every single play and who's the matchup, whether they're playing in man or zone, because the Eagles will attack you either way. That's going to be the big thing for them leading up to this game is who do they feel comfortable, not in just necessarily in man, but also who's going to have to be running with him in certain zones because of his speed. Now let's flip the page, Dan, and we'll go to their loss against the Falcons on Sunday night. You know that Wentz likes to move. He's a big, strong guy, and this is an escape job. He's Harry Houdini in cleats on this pass to Matt Collins. Break it down. Give us the X's and O's. Well, first of all, you're going to see the, the, the most important part of their offense is, is Zach Ertz, right? And so they send him in motion to try to figure out what are you guys doing with us in coverage. So that's something the Lions have to pay attention to. But, Mike, this really comes down to this guy is in, in the pockets, a lot of the guys that play defense for the Lions right now haven't played against Big Ben in his prime. That's really who Carson Wentz is in many ways, is this guy in the pocket that you can push the pocket and squeeze the pocket and you think he's down, but he's not. You can get a hand on him and think he's down, but he's not. And so this is going to take all 11 defensively being clued into information, but also going to the whistle. And that sounds like an easy thing. But it's difficult to do when you're playing in the game. Those rush guys have to be so important for the guys on the back end coverage-wise. Squeeze the pocket and never give up on this quarterback because he has a never-say-die attitude. This rush needs to be like a vice, always squeezing Carson Wentz. You know, in this game, Danny O looked like the Eagles were just playing from behind, just climbing, climbing, climbing all the way. Finally get a touchdown, and he mentioned Zach Ertz. He played all 81 snaps because of the injuries they had in that last game. But here's a two-point conversion to Ertz. He's one of the top receiving tight ends in a National Football League for a reason. Break it down. Give us the X's and O's. Tell us what you see. Yeah, Mike, this guy's outstanding. But what they like to do is get him down in a reduced split, you know, close to the football. And then they give him what, what I know is a burst or spray release. And so they widen him. And that widens the defender. And then they love to bring him back underneath that widened defender. So that for the Lions, do you want to play zone down here? Do you want to play man down here? Again, matchups, that's the name of the game in the NFL. Who do you feel good matching up against Ertz? But understanding scouting-wise, when he gets down in that reduced split, he really likes to try and spray widen to open up that hole. And so that's a big-time scouting thing, playing on that inside hip of that receiver, force a more difficult throw to the sidelines, but you don't really want to get beat across your face. And you've talked about his mobility and his escapability and all of that with Carson Wentz. And we're going to see this again in our last play right here. This is a long throw to Nelson Aguilar on the last possession for the Eagles. Just fell short, could not quite finish the job. But tell us what you see on this 43-yard pass to Nelson Aguilar. Well, again, he's, he's a, what you have is a quarterback that you always have a chance with, almost like the guy that the Lions have in Matthew Stafford, uh, a never-say-die attitude. But the, 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 the Eagles have this in their offensive game plan. They attack what you're in. Even on 4th and 15, they know where the weakness of your coverage is going to be. So it's going to be important for the Lions to understand, yes, you can do things defensively that give you a positive or a benefit, but to every defense there's a negative or, or a flaw or a weakness. And Doug Peterson, as a play caller, is very aware of that. And so the Lions need to be aware of that. And this 4th and 14 is an example of it. They, lo they love to push the ball downfield, 
Aguilar is an outstanding crossing receiver. But the big overriding theme is you as a defense need to know where your weakness is and understand that the Eagles, their quarterback, and all their weapons are smart enough to know how to attack that. All right, Denny, that's a wrap on the four plays. So what do you, overall, what do the Detroit Lions have to do against Carson Wentz in that offense? We know they had some injuries last week against the Falcons. How do you prepare for that Sunday in Philadelphia? Well, the big thing is, is certainly where, where the Eagles' health is, right? And that's going to have a big impact on, on how the game plan goes. But really, red zone defense will be big. You're not going to stop this offense much in between the 20s, and they're going to be really difficult in the red zones. But know your matchups and protect against your weaknesses. All right, Daniel, that's a wrap for this week. X's and O's will be back next week. Enjoy the game Sunday. Later, bud.